Hello Warriors, this is Space Elephant, one of your community developers and a Forerunner team. So you know 2015 has been an amazing year for the whole project. So today I met with producer Stefan Cardin to discuss about his highlights for 2015, but also to discuss about the game announcement, the closed alpha, and what's coming up for 2016. We're now sitting in the new For Honor floor at Ubisoft Montreal. I'm with Stéphane Cardin, producer of the game. Thanks for joining us, Stéphane. Thanks How are you? you? Space Elephant, really happy to see you again. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, 2015 has been an amazing year for, uh, for the whole project. Uh, I'd like to know what were your most memorable moments uh, from your producer's point of view, but, but also from a personal level. But like you said, it's been a crazy mm. year for us, right? Imagine that you spend two years and a half secretly working on the foundation yeah. of the new games. We've been able to convince our boss that it was fun enough to announce the game at E3. We didn't want to go there and hide behind a CGI and wait for to know more about the player's expectation. Mm -hmm. We wanted to go there bold with the <laughs> CGI trailer, with the uh, and a live demo, 4v4, hands on demo, on the floor. So we wanted the players to really have the chance to touch the control pad and give us feedback on the game we were trying to make. So how is it the E3 announcement? I heard that you know there was Jason presenting the game on stage and Roman, our game director, playing as well uh, on stage. But you were in the audience, right? Yeah, I decided to sit uh, with with real people that will discover the game at the same time mm -hmm. than the rest of the world. So I wanted to feel the true emotion when we said that we will play live a 4v4 match in front of the crowd everybody went crazy you know it was really stressful i watched our game director roman that I, I, I noticed that he had problem with his controller, mm -hmm. but he keep his composure, deliver, deliver an amazing performance. I was so proud. Some people said that I cried. Oh, so really? I would like to deny that, but <laughs> it's true that I was really, really proud. <laughs> Nice, but also a few months after the announcement, you hosted your very first live event with the Close Alpha. Uh, what did you guys learn from this event? Since the beginning of the project, mm -hmm. we always put the game uh, up front. It's really important for us to go out there and validate as soon as we could the, f the, the, the experience and how fun it is to play For Honor mm -hmm. from home and not just in an event like E3 because we went to E3 PAX Gamescom so we had a lot of feedbacks and we knew that it, the game was fun in this environment. Yeah, 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 that's and right. So, and what was really interesting is uh, we decided to do an initiative called the uh, Play With Dev. So yep. most of the developers were with the players during the full weekend. Mm. And we you played as well, right? Yeah, I played Super Brand, uh, Six Sixes was me. So if you kill him, uh, <laughs> maybe you've been lucky. But it's been really, really <laughs> fun. And uh, we've been able to be in touch with the players uh, for three days, uh, talk about the games, talk about their expectations, and see their learning curves with the game. And honestly, we've been really impressed on how mm. fast and how good they became. After the first day, I got my ass kicked several times. Okay, we had the. U I have to say that we had the Ubisoft logo on our yeah, armor. Yeah, yeah. It didn't help. You know, they were people, trying to find you. Actually. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was feeling a little bit like a rabbit. People <laughs> were running after me, but it was a lot mm. of fun, and I think it really helped to establish a good dialogue with our players. That's true. Uh, also, uh, Stefan, I heard uh, about this team philosophy in For Honor. Uh, I heard that there's, uh, you know, um, every developer is uh, some kind of a warrior on a mission. Uh, could you tell me more about that? What is, what is this mission? I have a strong belief that a developer is a lot better when you work in a game that you love and a, and a game that you understand deeply. And mm. for us, passion for game and the type of game we were trying to make was uh, one of the first questions we asked during the interview when we built that team. And every day we have a playable build on the floor. Every week the entire team mm -hmm. is invited to participate, participate in our play session and give feedback. So we challenge a lot ourselves uh, to make sure that we're making the most fun game uh, possible. And we really treat the, the team as the first community mm. of the game. Stefan, now that the, the table is set for 2015 with all of the events, uh, the closed alpha, uh, what can we expect for 2016? What are you guys working on at the moment? One of the big questions we received and uh, feedback was about the uh, a solo campaign. Mm -hmm. So 
we said that we will have a solo campaign and I can promise you that we will have a solo campaign. It's <laughs> one of the key subjects we are working on on the floor. I can't wait to show stuff to you guys and we'll do it as early as possible, like we did with the multiplayer. And should we see a Viking soon or something like that? I know that our community is very excited and they are really waiting to see something about the Vikings. One thing I know since uh, we announced the game is our fantasy works really well, right? Mm. Samurai, Vikings, Knight, everybody has an answer to that. You yeah. see, I'm a Viking. That's right, I'm and, a Viking too. And I can promise that we will have Viking in the game and again, it mm. will be part, we, we still have times before the release and believe me, you will hear about the Vikings very soon. One last question, uh, Stefan, but not least. I know you're a big hockey fan, but also a <laughs> hockey player. Uh, what is your forecast for, for this season with the, the Montreal Canadiens? It's time for the Montreal Canadiens to bring back the cup home. So I believe the 2016 <laughs> will be the year. All right, sounds good. We'll take notes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stefan. Thanks for your time. Hey, thanks for watching, uh, Warriors. Also, uh, if you have questions, if you want to join a conversation, uh, make sure to uh, join our Facebook page, Twitter, and Reddit. Look for 400 Game and uh, see you in 2016.